Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner. Uh, the poem I'm going to read today um, evokes life in a vicarage. It's not like any vicarage I've ever been to and I have been into quite a few. It Again, it's a bit like some of the other poems um, I've read. It's, it's of a time that might or might not have existed back in the day. But it is very funny. I think it's very funny. And it's called A Game of Consequences. Do you remember playing consequences? Fold them over and write a line and fold it over. This is very posh consequences because they, they, they write them on basil and bond um, writing paper. Very classy. Anyway, it's called A Game of Consequences and it is by Paul Dane. Coffee cups cool on the vicar's harmonium. Clever guests giggle and duffers despond. Soft as the patter of mouse feet, the whisper of ever sharp pencil on basil and bond. Separate hands scribble, separate phrases, innocent each as the new driven snow. What will they spell when the paper's unfolded? Lucifer only and Belial no. Ready, Miss Montague, come, Mr. Jellyby. Peek at your papers and finger your chins. Shy, Mr Pomfret, you'd rather the vicar... Oh, good for the vicar. The vicar begins. Fat Mr Pomfret met frousty Miss Montague under the back seat in Jellyby's cart. He said to her, will you do what I want you to? She said to him, there's a song in my heart. What was the consequence? What did the world say? Hissed. In the silence to Damocles' sword. Today, Mr Pomfret has left for Karachi and little Miss Montague screams in her ward. I always thought Consequences was a very dangerous game. For more poems, read by me, uh, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you.